While I was off in Switzerland doing this, back home, this was happening. Today is not going to be a particularly fun video because, as you can see, everything's become infectious. So what the hell happened? Well, pretty simple actually. Above me here, there is a lot of pipes to carrying water to all the parts of the building, including our neighbors downstairs. We're on the second floor of this building. And in the winter, it got very, very cold and the pipe tank burst. Now we had the heating on to prevent it. So whatever actually led to it, we don't know, but it is what happened. The worst part about it is it happened on a Friday afternoon, about 7 p.m. we think. That time, everybody had gone home. Chris, who was here editing videos while I was off doing the Race to World First, had gone home and our neighbors had gone home as well. Then it burst and water started flooding into the building. Not only that, the alarm went off, but nobody nearby, even though they knew about it and told us about it on the Tuesday, <laughs> told anybody the alarm was going off. So this whole building was flooded for the entire weekend until Chris came in on Monday morning to see water pouring down the stairs and all the walls in the building. So what the hell did Chris walk into? Well, this was my stream room. This is where you've seen me streaming from for the past 12 months. On here were all our cameras, monitors, everything, and water was flooding down this wall, as you can see all the molds here now, and pouring into the screens. Literally through the vents at the back, water pouring in, the keyboards, the mice, the PCs that were here, all with water pouring in them and had been pouring in for two days. So the team had to spring into action. Unfortunately, I couldn't help. I was trapped in Switzerland and I couldn't come back to do anything to help out, but you guys did. With a combination of Chris, some family members and some viewers who managed to get down here immediately, the guys began ripping everything out of the walls, packing everything up and getting it out of this building as quickly as possible. And thank God they did, because as you can see, the stuff that got left behind You didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, there was a priority in what could be saved in the amount of time we had. Some stuff is just simply too large to get out of here. So we contacted a moving company and a storage unit company, which you'll see over here. Shamo motherfucker, come into my crib. <laughs> So we are at an abandoned pharmaceuticals factory that some reason, some of Emma's friends had, and they gave us this building to use. It's actually pretty cool. Come in. But although I've got, I'm pre-warning you guys, there's some really nasty things in here that's gone wrong. Obviously the guys had to rip everything out as fast as possible. Water pouring into the building, all the equipment getting destroyed. It needed to just be grabbed and get out of there. So they literally threw stuff in boxes and dragged it down here. And when I first came to investigate, there was a lot of water in these boxes. Now, <clears throat> this, some of you will be happy to know, has survived. It's fine, it's good, it's good. But we had to get a lot of our equipment out and let it dry off because we had so much stuff that we've collected over the years. Uh, and there's some mold now on the desks you've spotted, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, these are our desks, our office desks, which thankfully the movers actually took apart for us. They like got the screwdrivers out and I think you got the screwdriver out and uh, Vanish, one of our community members, got it out and just like, Vroom! just whizzed it all out. And, uh, <laughs> and hopefully, we can actually rescue most of this stuff, but there is some stuff that is dead. Our fat cat is covered in mold, unfortunately. Fat cat, which was one of the last ones produced. We actually ended up getting this from Square Enix. Uh, they managed to contact us and get it sent to us and all that stuff is currently covered in mold, but maybe as part of the Preach Gaming Restoration Project, we could do something to save him. 
get him cleaned, get him restuffed, whatever it might be. We'll keep you updated on that because I know many of you like the fat cat. But I guess many of you will not be mad about this. This was not here the last time I visited the storage unit. Our pawn couches are destroyed. I'm going to keep a distance of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro. They have not survived. That is rank. That's bad. And it's the other one as well uh, over here. Yeah. They, these had no mold on them when I visited last time I was here. But at this point, yeah, they're gone. Thankfully, though, our soundproofing walls are fine, which is really good news because uh, these were a real big project by me and Chris. We did the video on that. Um, is that on a? Is that on our website? Was it released to the public? That uh, it went on YouTube actually. It did go on YouTube. Well, we built the first one at least, anyway. Yeah, so our soundproofing walls are actually fine, but so thankful that we managed to know somebody who knew a guy who knew a guy in order to sort this out because. This is where we've moved our bigger stuff, like our GT Omega chairs. Rex Tyson will be happy. The chairs are fine, although the arms on that one. Yeah, one's a little rough. That's there. mine, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's my chair. Okay, so, well, that makes sense because there's so much water in my room. Yeah. Uh, in my stream room. But everything else is fine. Emma's chair is fine. Nupsy's chair is fine. Your, cha your chair is fine, actually. Yeah. Uh, which is great. So just my. It's only the arm pads as well. I think I can get them replaced. Yeah. Uh, which should be fine. But this was a big one because these chairs are like £400 each. Yeah. They're so expensive. Bought that all for the fireplace set that we used uh, once. <laughs> yes, well. so we got to use once before it has been destroyed and taken apart. Yeah. Along with these are all the display plates we're giving away to people. <laughs> these are actually for you guys. So when we're doing the restoration projects, we'll do some uh, giveaways to go with them. But I'm going to do a shill moment here because display are awesome to us and you can't buy these anymore. Uh, we'll hopefully have some way of getting them back online for you in the future. But we have Vanar, we have Emmett, we have a bunch of them to give away for you guys. So during the restoration projects, we'll do giveaways and things to go along with. But thank God we had this. Sylvanas survived. She seemingly just will not die. She just will not die. I think the models are here. Plot armor for days. Man. She has plot armor for days. But let's have a look. Look look what they gave us. And when we're paying so little for this. This is an entire office block that they just gave to us on the day. And we haven't used any of it. And they, in fact, offered us, Chris, to use this space as yeah. our replacement studio. But it's very far away. <laughs> it's very, very far away. And it needs a lot of work. And cold. It's very cold. They said they would fix it all up for us and, yeah. you know, make it ready. But pff, I'm sorry. We appreciate the help, but this is not going to work for us. Not quite. Let's head back to the office and let's decide what we're going to do about this. But Mike... I follow you quite closely. I know that this happened a couple of months ago. So what the hell is going on? Frankly, not a lot. This building hasn't been touched since we left, despite assurances that it was going, we were going to be back in within one month. Nothing seemingly has happened. And it's getting worse. As you can see, this crack here did not exist. This is new. This is a brand new crack. But we've got a good guy here, Roger Brown, who's keeping a great eye on what's going on. And in his opinion, it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously yeah it is kind of that bad it's grim but we're not going to take that approach it took me 10 years refusing to join orgs taking ob obnoxious sponsorships in order to build us to get this studio so we could improve everything for you guys and get the team working together so we could make the best content we think and obviously this is a massive setback but we're going to look at it as an opportunity for example this was our green screen area it was our first stab at making it and as you can see it was basically sellotape and Things stuck to the walls, and at one point we even stapled a sheet to the floor to make it work, and it wasn't ideal. So we're going to look at this as an opportunity. Even though we seemingly have um, perhaps endangered life living here now, uh, as <laughs> this is so disgusting. It's so crazy. It's actually disgusting. But yeah, we're going to use this as an opportunity, guys. Why the hell not? We're going to call it the Restoration Project in tribute to Final Fantasy XIV. There's a lot we got wrong when we first decided to outfit the studio, things we dreamed we wanted and didn't quite get right. A good example would be this over here. We were really looking forward to the web shows returning. It was one of the big things we wanted with the studio. So we got the big logo, we got the plants, and you would have seen this in our Questling Conflict tournament, but it's too big and you couldn't see it in the camera shot. These are the things we're going to change as well as how our green screen was not perfect. We're going to make that better. We're going to look and try and claim some goodness out of this. And there is some good, guys. There is absolutely some good. This area of the office stayed dry. And thankfully, a lot of our huge stuff has, we hope, been saved. Now, 
with the lack of work that's happened in this building, there is a lot of potential that our TVs and all the monitors that the guys were using are filled with mold, which is something we're gonna to have to address in the future. But our big fireplace set, which you saw start to get use after all the work of putting it together, has of course been torn apart, but it is dry. Thankfully, it is dry. So there is some light at the end of the tunnel that we haven't lost everything. We've managed to secure as much as we possibly can. And now we're gonna look and use you guys as well to have suggestions, things we can do better in order to have the restoration. Ishgard was rebuilt, Doma was rebuilt, Preach Gaming will be rebuilt. It's a bit slow. It is a bit, I can speed it up. Yeah, you can speed it up. <laughs>